If you've clicked on the link on the fiddleforum.com, then you're through to the right place to hear a little about ESRs by NS Design. Now, most of us have spent a significant amount of money on these shoulder rests, and we've ended up, hmm, shall we say, getting defeat rather than getting a benefit from them. Now, I spent approximately 12 hours over a period of two days trying to manipulate this shoulder rest and quite frankly I eventually gave up with it. So I stood back and had a look at things and said well what can one do with the existing materials? You know avoiding welding, grinding, cutting, sawing, milling, drilling and I discovered that Within the existing materials given to us by NS Design, um, for example, the standard shoulder rest, the SSR, and the balance shoulder rest, the BSR, combining the BSR and the SSR, I come up with a solution that may help most of us, if not some of us. Let's have a look now at the final construction. Okay, this is the final assembly. Now, if you have a look carefully, you'll see that both shoulder rests are now combined. And it's this combination of both that gives the secure footing for the violin when it's around your neck. Don't worry if you can't see it too well at the moment because I will show you how to dismantle it and put it together in another part of the video. Now the important thing when you're doing this is to have three hexagonal wrenches or if you're in America Allen keys and to have them as accurate in size as possible because if you were to strip one of the little grub screws here the head if you were to strip the head of it it would cause a uh, great difficulty it would be your worst nightmare apart from your actual initial adjusting of the BSR so you don't want that to happen. So you really want to get the right sizes. Now, I've measured the sizes here, and in millimetres in the UK, this is what I've come up with. Three millimetres, which should be an eighth. 2.75 millimetres, which is close to 7 sixty-fourth. 2.45 millimetres, which is 3 32s. So that's about roughly the sizes you need, but don't take my word for it. Make sure that you get the correct sizes when you go to adjust all these little grub screws. And in that sense then, everything should be quite secure and tight. Now when it comes to placing the violin onto your shoulder, it's very easy now. Some people have said to me, surely this is like a bit of scaffolding, you know, it must be difficult, but, you know, there you are, as you see, it's on. I can look to the left, I can look to the right, I can even see my drummer now. When it comes down to sliding, well, that's very easy. Simple. It means that the violin doesn't get pulled away from your chin anymore. In fact, you may not even need to put your chin on the violin if this BSR is adjusted appropriately, if that's what you wish. I still prefer to, to, to use the chin rest just to drop my head onto it slightly. It just maybe is a reference point of what I'm used to, I'm not sure. But I prefer to do it that way. But either way, 
even with your head away, as you can see, it's still quite easy to slide up and down the fingerboard. And don't get too hung up in this. If there are certain difficulties uh, with your sliding, then do what the old masters used to do and didn't tell us. Just get a little bit of olive oil or similar. Put it on your thumb and the base of your first finger. Then you'll be sliding up and down the fingerboard like a five-year-old in a kiddie's play shoot. Anyway, now let's have a look at how to put the thing together. Right, you will have viewed the photo on the components required to come up with your new design. And what you basically do is pick up the shoulder rest. Now I have fitted the longer support leg that comes with the BSR onto the SSR. The initial support leg that was with the BSR, sorry, the SSR, is something that I've chosen not to use. So put that out the road for the time being. What you're basically doing is picking up both and putting them on like that. this one marked in pencil so I know exactly where I want to go to the basic setting that would suit my own anatomy. You may discover differently. You can tighten up gently there to get it to stay in place. And what I found is round about there is a good basic setting. When you're tightening up the little brackets here, try and get the equivalent force on both of them, rather than it being clamped at one side and not so much on the other. This will require the 2.7mm wrench or 764s. So I have that now reasonably well clamped. It's now looking like that. You can see where this is going to sit sort of close to the shoulder. And this is going to go around your neck. Now we want to put it on the violin itself. Now you may find that if you don't have the support leg far enough up into the bracket, there's maybe not a great deal of distance here for it to fit into the violin. But you should be able to get enough if you come down close to the bend on that support leg. And that will allow that will allow you to get a fair bit of material up into the violin. 
Once again, just doing the same thing, trying to get a balance between the grub screw and the thumb screw. Wrong key there. Now having to go down to the smallest hexagonal wrench. Once you have things reasonably tight, you're then looking at managing to get the adjustments more appropriate for yourself. finding this is reasonably comfortable so what you need to do then is reach down fumble about and get the thumb screws tightened this is so that it won't be disturbed I think I probably got it about there Take it back off again, and this time give another little turn. You may get a quarter turn uh, on the grub screws, or you may not. Just depending on how tight you made them initially. This really locks up the clamps quite tightly. That feels not bad. And remember you've still got an adjustment that you could use on the chin rest if required. different setting from what I had the last time. You can feel the violin is more pointing in front of me rather than to 45 degrees between the left arm and straight ahead. I need it to go up a little bit. Yep, that's getting a lot closer to what suits me now. When uh, the, the bits and pieces are all set up reasonably well, 
in the manner that I've been suggesting, you'll find that it gives you a stand for the violin as well, which is quite good. And that stand will work on the edge of almost any table. And it's basically incorporating the SSR with the chin rest. And that gets rid of another little bugbear that used to irritate a lot of us. So you have a ready-made stand poised for playing. Now one thing to remember is that I'm not a health professional. So you need to monitor the feelings throughout your muscles and your body and make sure that nothing's tensed up, make sure you have no aches and pains because this is a relatively new design and it's not been researched. But in any case, if something feels comfortable, it probably is right for you. But continue to monitor it anyway and make up your own mind. I hope I've managed to be of help to most people in putting this issue to bed with the BSR. If I haven't, then I hope I've helped a few of you. Thanks for listening. You've been watching Phil Donaghy and may your God go with you.